Nowadays, you and I have more ways of communicating than the President of the United States had in the 80s. And we love it. Especially the growing group of city sumers, people living in urban areas, people who want to get the most out of their urban city life, who know what they want, often busy and constantly looking for new experiences. Because they're always online, they expect the same kind of experience in their offline world. They simply expect companies to add pleasure to their life. This also applies to the floriculture industry. It's impossible to imagine the European street scene without flowers and plants. We'd almost forget, but less than 50 years ago, flowers and plants were only available to the happy few. In Europe, we are consuming over 23 billion euros on flowers and plants annually. Our world is changing, and it's changing at an increasingly rapid pace. However, consumers become more and more aware of what they buy and where it comes from. The explosive expansion of people living in urban areas offers us innumerable opportunities. By imagining what their situation and living circumstances are, we will be able to offer them solutions to suit their lifestyle. The Dutch floriculture industry has become what it is today through innovative power and collaboration. We've achieved worldwide availability and become a major contributor to the Dutch trade surplus. This might sound great, but the facts speak for themselves. Although the average production surplus has gone up significantly and the produce per square metre has also risen, there's still a drawback. The costs per square metre have risen even more than the produce and, in the last 10 years, the number of floriculture companies has halved. As I said, the floriculture industry is one of the most innovative in the Netherlands, but the focus has been on production, where the challenge of the future lies in sales. Export transportation costs continue to rise and legislation is becoming more and more of an issue in and around urban areas. Our flowers and plants can be found all over the world. During recent years, the Dutch floriculture industry has made vast investments in order to create and utilize the best possible climatic and technological growing conditions. The majority of production takes place in the Netherlands, Africa and South America. However, the majority of sales occurs in the areas surrounding the large cities in Europe, America and Russia. Logistically speaking, we have unknowingly created quite the challenge for ourselves. Online, we continue to come closer together, but physically... In Germany alone, around 20% of flowers and around 60% of plants are grown locally, and this number continues to rise. Our clients expect authenticity, speed, and a good experience every time one that suits their situation no matter what the moment. This forces us to think of new ways of creating value for the consumer and thereby for us. As an industry, we will have to come together again to meet the client in their own backyard and offer them a total lifestyle solution. Just consider the opportunities this could bring in terms of consumer value, logistics and experience. Together, we can make it happen. Already more than 70% of the European population are living in urban areas like Berlin, Moscow, Oslo, London and Geneva. Let's see what would happen if we were to relocate a large part of our production to these locations. From the Netherlands, we could establish so-called satellite production companies. Not traditional nurseries that require a lot of space, but rather we could use vacant office buildings and turn them into conditioned production sites. In that case, we would be able to produce in layers on just a few square meters and be environmentally neutral at the same time. Around these production sites, we will create a park, a campus where production, sales and experience come together. Wholesalers will have a strategically located distribution center and a loading area on location. Excellent sales opportunities will be created with a small-scale local auction with all the modern facilities. The products that are not grown locally will be efficiently transported to the campus and transferred locally with appropriate vehicles.
for us as an industry, regional retailers will have improved accessibility. Together, we can come up with better solutions so that local consumers can fully enjoy our beautiful products. Retail staff can learn how to be responsible for the shop shelves and how to sell flowers and plants. The campus will offer us a wealth of information regarding local consumers' behaviour. A campus where everything comes together, from production, logistics to sales. But most of all, a place where we can invite people to step into our colourful world and offer them an unforgettable experience. Does this sound bizarre or far off to you? Well, it's not so far off as you might think. You can find trade markets, local auctions, and people buying from a distance everywhere. It's simply a case of taking the best ideas and applying them locally. And, as we can see, condition production sites already exist. Picking gardens are a wonderful spot where people can enjoy our beautiful products in a natural environment. Wouldn't it be something if, for example, we gave each consumer who bought flowers or a plant a free pass to their local floriculture campus? And the products that aren't grown locally? We will be able to transport them far more efficiently from the Netherlands to the new campuses. Offering our clients a total solution, one that is completely suited to their urban lifestyle, what would this require? Among other things, it would require courage, an entrepreneurial spirit, and a will to collaborate, looking beyond our borders, together.